Bismillahirrahmanirrahim Honorable Judges and Fellow Debaters Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Allow me to introduce myself My name is Muhammad Fadil Arbi I am here as a representative of University of Surya Kanchana Here we are discussing that this house believes developing countries should require foreign companies operating in its territory to have minimum quota in hiring local workers. Before we delve further into this discussion, I would like to break down this motion. First of all, I will, <coughs> I will say the definition of number one, develop. Develop means to grow or to cause to grow or be more mature and advanced. A developing country is a poor agricultural country seeking to become more advanced in both economic and social perspective. A foreign company. A foreign company is any company or body corporated or incorporated outside of the country which has a place of business in the country, whether by itself or through an agent, both physically or virtually, and conducts in any manner of business activity in the country. Now that we have defined the meaning of this motion, I would like to remind you that I am the Prime Minister of this proposing team, and I believe with this motion. Allow me to deliver my argument. First of all, foreign companies have access to new markets and products and services for the country. Foreign country presents an opportunity for growth to a developing country. And some lesser known companies like mid economic businesses can provide viable markets for business expansions. Second, affordable options for manufacturing. Setting up a foreign subsidiary can give access to low-cost goods and labor. Foreign company has high developed manufacturing infrastructure that can produce not only low-cost materials, but also low-cost box, which can lower and minimize overall production cost. Third, access to local knowledge. Establishing a legal entity in a foreign country Business can make even uh, more business relations with local partners. Setting up joint ventures, taking advantages of local knowledge. The fourth is that it gives the parent company an international presence, which means that this parent company can have wider reach. It can expand into a market and establish a presence in the international market. That was the business aspect. Now I would like to talk about the advantages of uh, foreign companies in terms of politics. I believe that we should support this motion because this case can help the government to give their society, their citizen, in uh, getting a job. It will reduce poverty and also unemployment in developing countries. For example, Indonesia, India, Philippines, and other countries. Moreover, developing countries shouldn't close their society by closing foreign company into coming into the country. Because society cannot build itself. Uh, the closing of the foreign company to come to this uh, country will affect society's prosperity. Can you imagine that foreign companies can help the growing the economy of developing countries. If we don't have these foreign companies, our economy will go stale or static. We won't grow, or maybe even worst case scenario, our economies will plummet down. That is the reason why I support this case. However, one more, from social perspective, I support if foreign companies should give the quota for the local worker. Because this means that the knowledge of foreign workers to the society can give knowledge to local workers. They will know what happened around the world. 
they have knowledge about international what's happening around the world. <clears throat> By mixing in foreign companies with the local workers, our society can be mixed up with people around the world. This, of course, will increase the social quality of our society. Now, I would like to close my arguments by concluding my argument, what I said earlier. First of all, foreign company can have access to new markets for products and services for the country. Second is that affordable option for manufacturing, meaning minimal overall product cost. Third is the access to local knowledge for the foreign company. The fourth is that it gives the foreign company an international presence. That, those are the points that I made for the business aspect. Now, for the politic aspect, it can give, it can reduce unemployment and also poverty in developing countries. Moreover, foreign company can help open the opportunity for society to grow itself and develop itself. Finally, from social perspective, foreign company can give the quota for local worker and it can affect the knowledge of local workers there. So that is my conclusion and that is and those points are the reason why I strongly agree with the motion why foreign company should be able to work in develop in developing country. Thank you all for listening to my argument. My name is Muhammad Fadal Arbi from the University of Surya Kanchana and I am here as the Prime Minister of the proposing team. Thank you very much. Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.